Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well today. I have a follow-up tutorial on uh, the last one, which was how to bake deformers or effectors. And we baked this guy into a single object, but there wasn't any animation applied. And people were wondering if they have an animated object with a deformer or an effector, how they would go about baking that. So we're gonna go over that really quick. Uh, so we're gonna use a displacer deformer. We'll put that inside of our plane. And let's go to the shading tab and add a noise shader. And we'll go into the noise and we're gonna go to our animation speed. We'll hit that up to two or something. Um, we need to go ahead and make sure we take off our fong tag. Let's delete that guy. So we get some sharper edges and maybe we'll kick up the contrast a little bit. Bump up the contrast and let's go back to the displacer. Maybe kick up the height a little bit. All right, so that's a little bit fast. Let's go back to our animation speed and make, make that one. All right, so here's our animation. And let's say that we wanna bake this down into a polygonal object. And one of the reasons you might wanna do that is if you wanna texture some of these faces, uh, like before, if you go to the face mode and you go to your plane, uh, it flattens out. And that's because uh, when you're texturing those faces, that's before the displacer affects them. So it's kind of hard to, uh, to texture this guy properly. And there's some other reasons you might wanna bake a deformer as well. Um, so here's how we're gonna do it. We need to generate point data for all of these points in the animation. And we're gonna do that by right clicking on the plane. And we're gonna to go to character tags and point cache. Now you gotta be careful because there's also a, uh, a cache tag under the MoGraph tags, the MoGraph cache. That's a different one. So uh, make sure you're under character tags, point cache. All right, so now uh, we'll click on our point tag and we have a store state button, click on that and it's gonna unlock some other buttons. And then you just need to click calculate. And it's gonna run through the animation on your uh, timeline. So now if we hit play, you can see that we're playing. Here's the cool part. Go to that displacer and delete it. And we still have that animation baked in. All of that animation data is baked into this tag. So now we have a polygon object that is also animated. And now the nice thing is we can go in and start texturing this guy easily. And it's also probably gonna be a little bit faster on your machine because you've baked in this the animation data. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention was that I was reminded by somebody in the comments that uh, a quicker way than making a selection and going to select set selection and then adding a texture, you can actually just make a texture, uh, make a selection, so right here, and then just click your texture and drag it onto that selection and it will automatically create a, uh, a polygon selection tag and add it. So I kind of forgot you could do this. It's a lot faster, so that's just a little quick tip. And really quickly, let's just show you uh, that this is also possible with any effectors. So if we go ahead and hit C, uh, we'll go ahead and go to our MoGraph effector, random effector, and we'll drop that in there like before. We'll go to the deformer tab and change the deformation to point mode and We'll kick the strength down a little bit. Again, we gotta remove that fong tag. Um, the cool thing about random is if we go to the parameter onto, uh, let's see, the effector, uh, on random mode, we can change that to noise as well. And then we basically have the same options as we did in the, uh, the deformer. So we have animation speed, we also have scale, and in the parameters, now we can kind of play around with the different uh, values of what direction this guy's animating in. So this looks kind of stupid. Um, that's because we have to go to our plane, go to our face mode, hit command A, go to mesh, commands, triangulate, and turn that random back on. Now we get a bit more of that polygon look. Um, so just to review, right click on the plane, go to character tags, point cache, click store state, and then click calculate. It's gonna run through your animation really quick. Then you can get rid of that random effector and you have that animation baked in as well. So that works uh, for any of your deformers and it also works for any of your effectors if you wanna bake those guys in and make a polygon object. So that is the point cache tag, handy little tool to know about. Hope you guys learned something. Thanks again for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time.